The F-15 was the first fourth-generation fighter class to enter service in a Western Air Force, with its operationalization in 1975 responded to by the Soviet Union with the accelerated development of the MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters. The medium and heavyweight fighters provided the country with a high-low combination, and while the Su-27 when tested in the 1990s was found to be far more capable than the F-15 in air-to-air -air combat. The MiG-29 as a much smaller aircraft faced a number of disadvantages against the U.S. Air Force's top fighter of the time. Although Iran reportedly planned to acquire Su-27s in the 1990s, the disintegration of the Soviet Union led post-Soviet Russia to cease arms supplies to the country due to Western pressure. Before the USSR's disintegration, however, Moscow supplied the country with two squadrons of MiG-29s between them deploying around 35 fighters, with these remaining the most modern foreign-sourced fighters in the country's fleet. Although both the F-15 and the MiG-29 are still in production today, neither Israel nor Iran deploys 21st-century variants of the aircraft, with both countries relying on aging models with some modest domestic upgrades. Israel's F-15 fleet is by far the oldest in the world, while Iran began to receive MiG-29s almost 15 years after Israel received F-15s. Israel continues to operate the F-15 due to its uniquely high range and payload for a Western aircraft, despite its age, while Iran continues to operate the MiG-29 due to its inability primarily for political reasons to replace them with more modern fighters. When comparing the performances of the two, Israeli F-15s boast higher speeds and flight ceilings and carriage of larger more powerful radars, as well as the ability to deploy up to eight air-to-air -air missiles. Iranian MiG-29s, although deploying just six missiles, use much more modern missile designs than most Israeli F-15s, and benefit from far higher thrust, weight ratios and maneuverability levels particularly at low speeds. The MiG-29 also deploys an infrared search and track system as a secondary sensor, which is a feature no Israeli fighter class has other than its new F-35s. Such systems allow fighters to maintain situational awareness and engage targets without emitting a radar signature, and are particularly valuable for older fighters using mechanically scanned array radar that are highly prone to jamming. The most significant advantage boasted by either fighter in an air-to-air -air engagement remains the MiG-29's integration of helmet-mounted sights and high off boresight capable R-73 air-to-air missiles, which allows the aircraft to engage targets at extreme angles without pointing the fighter towards the target. This capability was first tested by NATO in the 1990s when East German MiG-29s were obtained, and proved to provide an overwhelming advantages in visual range combat over all Western fighter classes, leading the United States to develop the AIM-9X missile. The AIM-9X entered service in the mid-2000s, and while the latest variants of the missile are far superior to the R-73, none have been integrated onto Israeli F-15s. Although Israeli's latest indigenous Python 5 short-range missile is considered almost as capable as the latest AIM-9X variants, and can be integrated onto F-35 fighters, the missiles are not known to have been deployed by its F-15s which would require equipping the aging jets with new avionics including helmet-mounted sights. With the Israeli F-15 using older missiles required to point their noses at Iranian MiG-29s to fire on them, this provides the pilots flying the Soviet-built jets with a major advantage supplementing the MiG-29's already far superior maneuverability.